Emmanuel Macron could not resist a final swipe at Britain as the French president insisted European unity and firmness has paid off after the UK and EU signed a historic Brexit trade deal. The French president tweeted, European unity and firmness have paid off. The agreement with the United Kingdom is essential to protect our citizens, our fishermen, our producers. We will make sure this is the case. Europe is moving forward and can look to the future, united, sovereign and strong. The EU's chief Brexit negotiator Michel Barnier, who had been locked in weeks of talks with UK counterpart Lord Frost, tweeted following the announcement of the trade deal. He wrote, The clock is no longer ticking. After 4.5 years of collective effort and EU unity, to preserve peace on the island of Ireland, to protect citizens and the single market, to build a new partnership with the UK. Thank you all, Mr Macron quickly replied, thanking the chief negotiator for his tenacity and your commitment to defend the interests of Europeans and their unity. The French president also thanked European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen, adding, European solidarity has shown through. He tweeted, Thank you at Michel Barnier for your tenacity and your commitment to defend the interests of Europeans and their unity. Thanks to you and at von der Leyen, European solidarity has shown its strength. Mr Macron has been a vocal critic of Brexit over the past four and a half years, and particularly since trade talks began between the UK and EU earlier in 2020. He has often lashed out at the negotiating stance taken by Britain, particularly around access to French and EU fishing vessels in British waters after the end of the transition period on 31 December. The French president's government recently even threatened to veto any trade deal between the UK and EU that does not meet its strict red lines on fishing. But the trade agreement signed on Thursday states EU fishermen will be able to access UK waters for up to five and a half years. Following the end of that fishing transition period in June 2026, both sides will hold talks annually to discuss access. European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen told a press conference in Brussels the EU has secured five and a half years of predictability for our fishing communities. She said, first of all, competition in our single market will be fair and remain so. The EU rules and standards will be respected. We have effective tools to react if fair competition is distorted and impacts our trade. Secondly, we will continue cooperating with the UK in all areas of mutual interest for example in the field of climate change, energy, security and transport. Together, we still achieve more than we do apart, and thirdly we have secured five and a half years of predictability for our fishing communities, speaking during a press conference from Downing Street, Boris Johnson said for the first time since 1973, the UK will be an independent coastal state with full control of our waters. He added Britain's share of fish in its waters rising substantially from roughly half today to closer to two-thirds in five and a half years' time. The Prime Minister admitted UK had given ground to the EU on access to fishing waters but insisted that as a result of the deal, the country will be able to catch and eat quite prodigious quantities of extra fish. Asked which the UK and EU had conceded in the deal, Mr Johnson said. It would be fair to say that we wanted to make sure for instance that we got complete control of our fisheries from the get-go and that's just to say we had annual negotiations on fisheries within the shortest possible delay. The EU began with I think wanting a transition period of 14 years, we wanted 3 years, we've ended up at 5 years. I think that was a reasonable transition period and I can assure great fish fanatics in this country that we will as a result of this deal be able to catch and eat quite prodigious quantities of extra fish.